being such a large organization that caters to the interests of people and pedigree dogs across various interests from dog shows to dog sports, the FCI has what they call commissions, which are essentially committees of people that are dedicated or have a vested interest in those particular areas uh, of, of, of the canine world that the FCI also incorporates. And these people are, 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 for want of a better word, like guardians of this particular element. And so they form what the FCI has as commissions that um, go into looking into all the aspects and areas of that particular area of interest in pedigree dogs, um, whether it's a sport or whether it's um, the building blocks of, of, you know, of, of a particular breed. So the breed standards, um, the scientific commission, these are all commissions, what the FCI calls commissions, and they're formed by members who are all volunteers that put their time and effort into um, developing and being part of the groups that are the custodians of this particular area of interest. So in this series, I speak to many of the presidents or people from these various commissions that the FCI has. There are several commissions, and I hope to cover and be able to speak to as many of them as possible to, again, bring a better understanding of how the FCI works and how these people who are breeders and, and, and you know, trialers or, or exhibitors with interest in that particular area, how they uh, are part of the FCI and form an integral and important um, committee within the FCI to help bring better uh, meaning and understanding to this area. So I hope through this series, you get a better understanding of how these commissions work and how they assist the FCI in being this global organization with a universal interest to people in all areas of pedigree dogs. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to this series where we get to know more about the FCI and the commissions. And today I have the privilege and honor of having a chat with Dominika Hratska, who is a representative of the FCI Youth. Hi, Dominika, how are you? Hello, hello, very well, thank you. Great to have you with us. And um, we're all looking forward to finding out more about FCI Youth. But before we get into that, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and how you got involved with Pedigree Dogs? Uh, sure, it will be a pleasure for me. Uh, I'm from Slovakia and uh, my whole life uh, has been connected uh, to the dogs because uh, my father has established his uh, boxer kennel in yeah. 1985. And wow. after marrying my wife, Jana, they started breeding together. Okay. And nowadays we also breed with them with my husband. So we are still cooperating together. <laughs> and uh, after I was born, somehow I just became a pure dog lover because I I spend all my free time with dogs and puppies in whelping room and I tried to do obedience with the adult one and uh, also then I started uh, attending shows okay. so this all was on my um, almost everyday to-do list so okay. this happened and uh, then when I got older uh, I started participating in the junior handling competition right. and uh, nowadays I am also international judge for boxers papillons and chihuahuas and junior handling as well uh, except this uh, I became last year also the secretary of the Slovak boxer club and uh, now it's uh, fifth year I am a president of uh, the junior handling club Slovakia oh and to my kinological part of life also belongs being a speaker at the best in show competitions at the international shows or national shows in Slovakia as well. So all my life is connected to dogs. With genetics from your parents, you inherited it. Yeah, you it, exactly, come. inherited. Yes. So can you, are you involved in confirmation side? You mentioned obedience, but you're more involved with dog shows and things like that, or are you still involved with obedience? Uh, well, in Slovakia, or that time in Slovakia, it wasn't so very often for children to do obedience. Mm -hmm. And we also lived in the, the east of Slovakia where any of these groups were. So we were happy that my father did obedience or uh, hold it that time EPO uh, with our boxers. But for me, it wasn't so very easy. And um, so I, I just somehow I quit it. But um, I, I still continued working with dogs and to, I don't know, to sit down and lie and, uh, and so on, but uh, not on the highest level. And uh, as uh, 
my parents gave me puppies, for example, to show in the rings. Then right. I was discovered by a famous uh, Welsh Springer Spaniel breeder in uh, Slovakia. And she asked me if I don't want to uh, be part of their show team and to uh, attend shows and to attend junior handling. So this is how I um, came to junior handling. And somehow this obedience then get low because junior handling was my dream and my, my life and so on. Wow, fabulous. Well, well, what an interesting thing. Now, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with this commission and how long you've been involved with the FCI Youth. Uh, me? <laughs> in, in 1920, oh, 1920, uh, 2019, excuse yeah. me, uh, and national organizations, national Kenyan organizations under FCI got the question to... Um, give names for uh, as representatives for FCI Youth Commission's meeting that uh, was planned to be held in uh, 2020, in March 2020. But unfortunately, because of COVID situation, this uh, meeting never happened. And uh, well, then uh, we finally met, even though like this uh, Zoom uh, and online uh, in uh, 2021. So I would tell that since since last year, we are involved in this commission, in this activity. Okay, okay. And how- But I know about, I know about uh, longer because one of the founding members, Mrs. Katarina Molinari was a judge in Slovakia at the talk show. And uh, one of our judge, Ms. Linda Volarikova has introduced uh, each other to right. us. And um, so we got uh, conversations about FCIU, about the rules. And she also judged that time junior handling here, Mrs. Molinari, she, she judged this. So I uh, got get new about uh, FCIU commission that time. I think it was, Mm, 2016, 2017. I'm not sure about this, but so I knew about, but not involved in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm mean, Katarina, was one of the earliest members. Uh, I, I, how long has the commission been around? Is it 2016, 20? 2015. Uh, okay. 2015 uh, was introduced to FCI board. Excellent. Excellent. And, and okay, for the benefit of those people who don't know what FCI Youth, could you tell us what FCI Youth is all about? What is this commission about? Uh, well, sure. Uh, FCI Commission, or main goal or main idea of FCI Youth Commission was or is uh, to um, involve young people in FCI activities and uh, to be uh, the like leader for these young people and young yeah, youth community and uh, to, uh, for example, prepare some regulations or regulations or, or schedules or something for them to know for young people that we are here for them or th that time at that X team, yes. So uh, this is what I got, that this is what uh, I think was created for. But how uh, time went by, uh, the depth of an idea of FCI Youth uh, went uh, upper and upper and so was growing. And for now, uh, Mr. President of FCI told us that he uh, really needs us because we are young generation and uh, we can give another opinion and another view to any of uh, things in FCI. How, for example, to involve many other people into uh, peer breed dogs. So this is what we are now working for, not on junior handling, not on agility, but in general to be known more in um, public, maybe. So to promote promote pedigree dogs, but to a younger generation. And what yes. age group are they looking at? So what age group is FCI youth? I mean, could I qualify for FCI youth? <laughs> uh, well, as uh, representatives for now, we are uh, under 35 years. Okay. But uh, this is... Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, but uh, to be honest, I don't think that this is going to be forever because uh, also 36 year old uh, guy or girl may have an ama amazing uh, idea. So we will work on this as well. But uh, uh, 
at least we are working for young generation, not uh, for uh, just children and up till 18, yes, but because for me, young means also 25 years old. Uh, in Slovakia, we uh, organized also, not now, but in the past, we uh, organized the open championship in junior handling. And this was a little bit different, but it was open for handlers up till 25 years of age. Also for ex-junior handlers or handlers, they uh, never uh, had the opportunity to attend in this show. And this is because for me, young is not only until 18. Yes, so. <laughs> Okay, okay, that, that, that's, uh, I, I get an idea and, and, and this is it, to involve those who are there. Um, is the commission focused more on confirmation dog shows or is it including all the other things that FCI does like agility, obedience? I mean, what's the, the spectrum that you'll cover? What is amazing is that the FCI is not only for show dogs or for, for dog shows, and this is also uh, in FCI youth. We are working also, for example, we are now, we will speak about, but uh, we are now preparing something and I'm uh, discussing it with another uh, parts of kinology. They have youth activities. So for example, agility, obedience, and uh, sport kinology, hunting kinology. So uh, we are here for everybody. And and uh, of course, it's uh, about connections and it's about communications with our national organizations, but uh, it's not only about talk shows and that's amazing. Awesome. I, I love that because we need to, to include people who have other interests, not just those who are, you know, I know most of us come from confirmation dog shows, but um, it's so important to involve the others. And so that's fabulous that you guys are actually looking at that. Could you share with us some of the activities that you all plan to do or that has been done or where this is going? I know COVID has stopped a lot of things, but where is this going? Well, what are the things that this commission wants to do? Uh, sure. For now, I can mention that we have prepared a presentation uh, for FCI, uh, what is going to be present soon. And uh, in this uh, presentation, we also have mentioned the youth activities of our national organizations. Like I mentioned that uh, with not only junior handling, but for example, Slovakia has uh, uh, written about agility, uh, hunting, kinology, and so on. And uh, we really hope that this presentation, when it will be presented to national organizations, will um, be an impulse for another country. They don't have their representatives in our uh, commission because uh, we are not too many in, in that. Okay. And uh, also that those uh, national organizations, they still don't have developed this uh, youth activities. We'll maybe think about it, what everything we can do for not only for young people, but for kinology in the future. Yeah. So uh, this is what now we are working on. Of course, we have plans, but we have decided to uh, stop one thing and then to continue with another. So uh, in April is uh, planned to have this presentation for FCI countries. And I really hope that many of them will, uh, will join us because we really worked hard at this and uh, we are really satisfied with our work and uh, I am really happy what's happened in the world because I know what ha what's happening in Slovakia and what everything we have here but uh, for example Russia, Finland, uh, they have amazing uh, young, young programs and I'm really glad that I know it and for now we are working on that in Slovakia as well and I hope that it will open eyes and uh, maybe um, possibilities to another countries as well. So Dominica help me understand this a bit I, I, I'm just to get, get it clear the, the FCI Youth Commission has come out with uh, a plan or programs that national uh, kennel organizations can actually do for their youth. And, and this is based on input from countries like you mentioned, Finland and Russia, that have very uh, a lot of activities for their youth. And the idea is that this will inspire other kennel clubs to start these programs. Is that is that correct? Uh, yes, but from us, it will be only like recommendation. Yes, what are our our uh, views and our uh, opinions, what everything can be done. And uh, our presentation is selected to two parts. The first part is about what we uh, think we could do. And the second part is about what we already done in our countries. 
So uh, maybe uh, those uh, who still didn't have or don't have anything may uh, be in, like have some ideas from our work. Yeah. So inspired to do something. And, and, yeah. and, and who is this being presented to? What's this? So let me help to promote this a little bit. When is this, have you mentioned April? Um, how can people find out about this? Is it a, a webinar? Um, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, what we uh, know is that uh, national organizations will get uh, the login and passwords for this webinar. And also it will be then uploaded on YouTube. So if uh, someone is not able to attend uh, our webinar, it's possible to see it later, but only for registered. So it's not for everyone. But uh, as if I remember well, we got the information that it's not only for press but also for, for example, people they are involved in this um, parts of kinology, like youth, like agility, like uh, like dog shows and so on. So uh, it's not only for one person from country or this is planned. So we will see how it will work, but it would be great if it can stay this way. And, and do you happen to know the date offhand? Um, do you know what date it is in April? And, and, uh... Uh, Exactly now, today, we got uh, the message from uh, Grisha. Grisha is the representative of uh, Russia, and uh, he wrote us that Mr. Yakel agreed with the uh, date April 13. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, it should be at uh, 1 a.m. So, uh, 1 a.m., excuse me, 1 p.m. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, because, because of this, that we are uh, all over the world, and uh, this is so the best time for all of us. This is a time that will cover everyone. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Um, uh, that, that's great. And, and uh, I guess anyone who's interested can uh, contact the FCI office because this will come officially from the FCI office, um, which is great. And you mentioned earlier about having many people involved. How many representatives are there currently in FCI youth? Um, how many countries across the world are represented? Uh, at the last uh, meeting, we were 10. Okay. Uh, we still are in, um, because uh, we cannot meet each other personally, of course, but uh, we are uh, in contact daily uh, during the social medias. Uh, and uh, we are still 10 in this group. Not, not everyone is uh, working every day and so on, but okay. together now we are 10 representatives. Okay, so 10 representatives that form the commission, but what about just members who are part of FCI Youth, or is it the 10 that represent the whole thing at this point? No, we also have uh, uh, like mentors from FCI board. Okay. So uh, if we need something, we ask them for, to help. And Mr. Tamas Yakel also uh, is uh, in contact with us. So he's here for us. And it's amazing that we have and uh, see support in him, that it's not only that uh, uh, we have something and do something, but um, it's new for us as well, so uh, we really appreciate that uh, he is here and um, and helps. Excellent, and and so the idea is obviously to get more representatives, more youth involved in this commission. Um, that you want representation from across. Is it currently mainly from Europe, or do you have representatives from South America and from Asia? Um, What's the we do have, pardon me. Uh, we do have mainly from Europe, but okay. we also have, uh, and she's really active from uh, the South Africa, and uh, mentioned Grisha from Russia. Yeah. So uh, this is what we already have. Well, we know that Mr. Yakel told us that uh, it is maybe more complicated to uh, work with more people together. Uh, but it's not only about the work, but also about only ideas that what do you have? Yes. For for example, now we have uh, we had a discussion a few days ago about age of uh, junior handling judge. What we uh, as countries think, what is our opinion, how we sit in our countries, and we this is something what we are also going to prepare our just recommendations. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, we think that we are on a very good way. We have our our reasons, our descriptions, why we have these opinions. So I think this is also going to be a very good part. And this is why we think that more people uh, in Slovakia, it's a, a um, sentence that more heads give more uh, better ideas. Absolutely. So Absolutely. And, is, and that's wonderful. I mean, it, it's it's good that you've got the 10 now, um, but you, the aim is to grow it and to have more people 
be part of it and to come up with the activities. So how does somebody who wants to get involved with your commission, when or how often do you meet or how do they um, you know, get in contact or become part? Is it through their kennel clubs? Can you tell us a little bit? Because we'd like to you know, get other people, youth who are watching this uh, involved. Uh Sure. Uh, the mainly at the uh, website of FCI, there is a, a own section of FCI Youth. So okay. if they open this FCI uh, Youth section, they, they find everything about establishing, about the founding members, about what we did, or also the X team, what did the, right. what the X team did, and uh, there is also how, for example, to uh, settle down the or the national youth national organization in your country. So this is very important. And uh, of course, we are here as well. I hope that in uh, soon we will be also published on uh, the website uh, to get contact to another. They would like to ask something, for example, because now, uh, unfortunately, this commission is not well known for, for this time. Uh, it's pity because, for example, it's, it's our neighbor country, the Czech Republic, uh, and they absolutely don't know about FCI recommendations for FCI youth recommendations for junior handling and they don't follow it. So our handlers ask us why to attend these shows, this junior handling in the Czech Republic if they don't judge like we used to and they they don't have these strict rules and uh, and so on yes so uh this is what we we hope that uh, we we are really working hard with our team and uh, we want to make uh, this commission more popular uh, more visible and uh, to get um, maybe another national organizations to follow the recommendations what are already prepared perfect and how often um, are you planning to do these meetings to get other people involved? I know your committee is meeting. You, you guys are in contact all the time or you ladies are in contact all the time. But um, what's the plan for other people to, to, to come in? How often do you plan to meet? For now, uh, to be honest, we didn't uh, uh, speak about because as we are still in touch daily uh, during messages or or uh, callings or so, uh, so on. So we didn't... Uh, I, I wouldn't tell the truth, but I know that we are going to have, I, 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 and I don't want to yeah. don't tell the truth. So uh, I don't know, but uh, we know that the, another webinar is planned for April. And okay. I'm sure that after April, we will make a shadow of our meetings. Okay. Uh, um, I think that, that um, we could settle it down with my team. That's, that's really good. And, and um, so tell us, moving forward, what is the ultimate aim? What do, you, what do you all in this commission hope to achieve? What's the, what's the dream? Well, I think that uh, uh, mainly was mentioned that uh, the dream is uh, to be a support for uh, youth, for uh, youth technology and to ask or to involve another people, uh, another young people uh, in pure breed dogs. Because not only, uh, we are not here only for doggy people. And as our uh, colleague from uh, for, from the FCI Youth uh, Commission says, that there are two parts or two groups of, do of uh, people. They are doggy people. So they are people they already have a pure dog, uh, pure breed dog, and uh, then they are uh, people with or without dog. And if it means with dog, it's a, a person who has a dog, but not pure breed. And uh, without dog is without dog. But this part, this group, people with or without dog, are the group we really need to uh, inform about pure breed dogs, because every one of them is potential future owner of pure breed dog. So we need to make activities, especially for this group. Also, of course, for our doggy people, they already know about FCI. But the biggest part, what we really need uh, to get informed and to uh, to get maybe some uh, interested in our uh, activities is this group, people with or without dogs. So this is our our dream, our our goal, and it's long, long uh, way. And I hope that when we will finish, because of age, <laughs> that the, the generation 
question uh, behind that comes um, behind us. We'll continue with this. I, I, I think that's so commendable. I think that's the right aim. I mean, my personal opinion, um, you know, people who are already involved already know, but targeting those that are potential owners, you, you, you hit the nail on the head by saying that you're targeting those who are potential dog owners. And that's wonderful because I do think, and I think you would agree, um, that the youth of today are not so interested in dogs. They are, there's so many other things that are, are, are drawing them away from this. So I think it's very commendable that this commission is looking into um, involving these people who are potential dog owners or who may just have a dog, but may not be a pedigree dog or, and to get them involved in, in our world, so to speak, in our world. Um, that's wonderful. I just have one last question. Are there any guys, the 10 of you, are there any guys involved or is it all ladies uh, in your commission currently? Uh, one more time, please. I didn't get it. Uh, are there any, how many guys are there involved? Also. I know there's 10 of you. Are you all ladies or is it? Uh, no. <laughs> we are, we are, uh, so that we are eight girls and two boys. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. The guys are represented. Very important as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. And uh, they are also very active. They are not only to be uh, there, but they really are very, very helpful. And uh, one of the countries, they already have the youth program is, for example, Hungary. Of course, our president is from Hungary, but, uh, but uh, our representative is really active and has really good opinions and uh from russia he's um, really we can ask him for everything and he's here for us and so we are really happy that we have our guys yeah we love them <laughs> even though we never met but with akos from from hungary yes because it's our neighbor country but uh with the other we i can tell that maybe i uh so just hilda from finland because we used to be uh representatives at craft together of our countries in junior handling but the other we have never met and we have really good connections we can uh, ride like friends but also like colleagues and to to not only to agree but also to say our opinions and that's very important but yes i think it's really because we are not only women because if there are only women it's not good but we have this guy in pulse and that's good <laughs> fantastic I'm, I'm happy to hear that and 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 it sounds like you guys are a bit of a dream team with uh, some really um, hardworking people who are so interested to, to see this. And, and Dominica, thank you for your time. And I really wish um, your commission all, all the best. And um, uh, hopefully we can do another session when after April or sometime later when um, there's more activities or these plans have come out. I would love for you to come back and share with us about uh, some of the things to promote this activity and to get our youth involved in other countries and you know in asia in south america and all other parts of the world uh, to get them involved in in this very important thing which you mentioned which is in pedigree dogs uh, not just dog shows but in pedigree dogs so thank you so much i wish I you the best you. with the seminar and uh, thank you for what you're all doing for the youth uh, i truly appreciate what you're all doing thank you again dominica thank you too have a nice day all the best.